so general features of both and robustus forms isn't it so in general features we will see in a particular order like we start from skull then we can see dentition then we can see the post cranial remains or post cranial that means below the cranium or limbs so in all the fossils we will see in this particular order so we will start with skull so put the side heading skull see in uh, both gracile and robustus form cerebral cortex don't write cerebral cortex and parietals are well developed so definitely brain increased in size and the cerebral cortex and parietals enlarged these two indicate that they might have had some symbolic form of communication so these are basically related to communication or speech so when they see that the cortex and parietals are well developed it indicates that they might have had some symbolic communication even cerebellum is well developed a well developed cerebellum indicates that they have fine muscle movements and manipulation by means of hand you get my point so please write first one brain is well developed in the same point you write cerebral cortex and parietals are enlarged these are related to communication and speech these areas are related to communication and speech so australopithecines might have had australopithecines might have had some form of a symbolic communication next point you can write cerebellum is well developed it indicates fine muscle movements fine control or fine muscle movements and manipulation by means of hands and even balance balance next one very very well developed sagittal crest so in humans it is reduced no so sagittal crest is well developed that means it is very protruding see this will well is well developed because of increased pressure brought because of mastication that is chewing so obviously you will have jo huge jaw muscles sagittal crest which is well developed indicates that they are still having raw food increased pressure while processing the uncooked food maybe leaves or bamboo or maybe some other uh, fruits or nuts or whatever may be so please write sagittal crest yes please someone help me to sagittal crest sagittal crest is well developed which indicates increased pressure brought during mastication that is chewing you get my point next one forehead forehead is there no forehead is receding receding means not in its original position compared to whom compared to human being or so you can only use these descriptive terms in relation to someone here receding forehead receding means not in its original place that we, that too with respect to human being that is all so you can write receding forehead see this face is there no face is mostly concave face is concave so concave means like this so when face is concave what is this jaws pronathism isn't it so when face is concave more pronathism obviously you have this nasal bones which are flattened so after flattened nasal bones you can write pronathism so flattened nasal bone you get my point so this is pronathism you get it? so face is concave flattened nasal bones pronathism is present jaw muscles are massive and thick jaw muscles are massive and thick so obviously jaws are also massive if muscle is massive jaws are also massive chin is absent so cerebral cortex and parietals well developed related to speech cerebellum related to movement and balance sagittal crest chewing hard diet receding forehead because still ape like character concave face because of acronathism flattened nasal bones obviously and then jaws are thick jaw is also massive chin is absent you get my point so that these are the striking features of next dentition so first one is dental arcade in human beings how is the dental arcade parabolic no like here yeah. so earlier it was like apes it is rectangular so you have to say parabolic a human like isn't it see front teeth are what incisors incisors are small please write incisors are small next canines are slightly pro projecting that means they are above the level of a incisors slightly projecting means they are above the level of other teeth you get my point premolars and molars are large and are useful for grinding and are useful for grinding for raw food raw food obviously you can write mandible is massive 
mandible is massive wi-fi pattern is present so these are the striking features of dentition next one is post cranial remains or limbs limbs or post cranial remains post means below the cranium so this is cranium no so below this all this part just on hmm? post cranial slash limbs so first one you have two curves no? one one is a lumbar curve and the other one is a thoracic curve so lumbar curve is pushing the body forwards and the thoracic curve backwards first time lumbar curve came into appearance first time lumbar curve lumbar curve so vertebral column pelvis broad and wide pelvis broad and wide next femur linear aspera present on femur linear aspera on femur knees slight straightening of knees if if it is earlier it was bent now it's too much bent now slight straightening so you can write slight straightening of knees so with this kind of features a lumbar curve without any thoracic curve and obviously broad pelvis then you have linear aspera that means thigh muscles are better developed along with some buttock muscles full straight straightening of little bit straightening on here with this posture if you try to imitate walking that is that type of movement is known as jog trot like locomotion okay uh, if i enact and show you'll find it very comedy like uh, so according to napier you write according to napier australopithecus has a jog trot like locomotion napier they had jog trot like locomotion all the above features suited so simple very simple you get my point but you have to remember in a systematic manner in which i am telling you selecting the right optional subject for the upsc exam can be a daunting task especially if you're aiming to succeed on your first attempt but what if there's a crucial element that could make all the difference that element is continuous answer writing practice at Vijeta IES Academy. Our Anthropology Optional Foundation program offers a comprehensive approach. Not only will you delve deeply into the subject matter, but you will also engage in daily and weekly answer writing exercises. Each of your answers will be meticulously reviewed and critiqued by N.P. Kishore sir, ensuring you receive personalized feedback to enhance your skills. This approach has already helped many students achieve impressive marks and ranks, such as Akanksha Singh, 311 marks in Anthro CSE 2022. Chaudhary Shipra Vijay Kumar, 307 marks in Anthro CSE 2022. Ajin Kumar, who cracked UPSC in his first attempt, and many more. With daily feedback and structured practice, you will be well prepared to succeed in the UPSC examination. With our focused feedback and structured practice, you'll be well equipped to improve your performance and boost your chances of securing a top rank in the CSE. Don't wait any longer. Enroll in Vijeta IS Academy today and unlock the proven success formula for conquering the UPSC exam.